One of the biggest misconceptions foreigners have of China is thinking of it as one giant homogenized market. It's not. In reality, developed China is a series of large city-states, each with their own characteristics and culture. There's Shenzhen in the south, 15 million people, and in dollar terms, China's export driver. Guangzhou, a city of 10 million people, equally important. Shanghai, China's financial center, at home to 24 million people. Then there's here in Beijing, 20 million people, with its own culture and characteristics. But Beijing is different because it's the home to China's central government. It's the seat of policies that shape China internally, but it's also where China communicates its message to the rest of the world. No better example is behind me the headquarters of China Television, the massive CCTV towers. 21 channels broadcasting around the clock, seven of those international channels in English, in Arabic, in French and in Russian. It's a very important metaphor as to how China communicates with the rest of the world because the Chinese government is a government of pragmatism. It will have relations with any country as long as they're mutually beneficial. Now for businesses wanting to come to China and invest or buy and sell goods and services, they need to be equally pragmatic. They need to strike deals that are mutually beneficial to both parties, but they also need to understand Chinese culture, how Chinese think and how they operate. If you can strike that chord, then you can do business in China.